In this video we will show how to troubleshoot if you have the symptoms of no image or a blank screen, but you can see an image on the screen with a flashlight and you do have audio. This video applies to the following power supply slash LED board part number. BN44-00564C four 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 for Samsung TV model number UN46 FH6030 FXZA US02 and panel number CY DF460 CSLV1H. LEDs are panel specific, so you must match the panel sticker number to be sure you have the correct replacement LEDs. In this video, the test that we are showing is checking the voltages. Testing the voltages will help to determine if the backlighting problem is being caused by the power supply slash LED board or the actual LEDs themselves. If you have not run the flashlight slash backlight test, please click the link in the video to the flashlight test. If there is not a link to click, please go to our channel and find the flashlight test video. After running the flashlight test, if you determine that you do have an image on the screen while using a flashlight and you have audio but no backlights, continue this troubleshooting video. In order to continue troubleshooting, you will need to have the skills, experience, and tools necessary to check voltages on the power supply slash LED board. It is necessary that you take the proper precautions to protect yourself as checking voltages can be dangerous on a TV that is powered on. I have begun by removing the screws and the back cover off my TV. We will be running the test on the power supply slash LED board here on the panel. We have highlighted this board in the video. As we take a closer look at the power supply slash LED board, here is the cable connection that runs from the power supply to the LEDs. I will be checking the voltages at this connection. We have four different sections of LED strips in this TV, thus we have four test points to check for the appropriate voltages. These points are labeled as M1+, M2+, M3+, and M4+. Before I begin testing the points, I will plug in my TV and either on the keypad controller or using the remote, I will power on the TV. I will start with M1+. It shows about 40 volts, which is good. I will then test the remaining three test points to check and see if they are good. All of the test points are showing normal operating voltages. Before I begin testing the points, I will plug in my TV and either on the keypad controller or using the remote, I will power on the TV. If the voltages were at zero or lower than our normal numbers, that would show that there could be a problem with the power supply board. I would want to first unplug the TV and then disconnect the LED cable and retest the points. We get a reading higher than normal which shows that the power supply is working and there is a problem with the LEDs.
If we were getting a lower than normal reading or zeros, then the problem would be the power supply. Before I begin testing the points, I will plug in my TV and either on the keypad controller or using the remote, I will power on the TV. If the voltages show as much higher than our normal numbers, then you most likely have a problem with the LED strips. Before replacing the LED strips, you will want to disconnect the LED cable and retest. I would want to first unplug the TV and then disconnect the LED cable and retest the points. We get a reading higher than normal which shows that the power supply is working and there is a problem with the LEDs. If we were getting a lower than normal reading or zeros, then the problem would be the power supply. If you decide to replace the LEDs in your TV, here are a few recommendations. It is recommended that the replacement be done by a trained professional as during the replacement process, there is a chance you could damage the TV panel. If you damage your TV panel, it is not fixable and your TV will no longer operate as normal. Always replace all of the LED strips in your TV at the same time. If one of them has shorted out, there is a high likelihood of another having the same problem. When searching for replacement LED strips, be sure to find the panel information for your TV and search using that information. Panel info can be located on a sticker on the panel or sometimes on a buffer board in the TV. LED strips are panel specific and not model specific. If you do need to replace the power supply board, be sure to find a replacement that matches your original part number on the board. Be sure to unplug your TV. You will need to start by removing all of the cables connected to the power supply. Then, remove all of the screws holding the board to the TV panel. After removing the screws, you should be able to lift the board from the TV panel. Then, put your replacement board on the panel and secure it using the screws and then reconnect all of the cables. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.